Well, he's had it with blasting the rich, and he ain't rich, and he ain't a Republican. He's a Democrat, and in New Jersey, he's a bit of an oddity, a lawmaker who's had it with class warfare, and specifically Governor John Corzine's plan to slap another surtax on the wealthy, the same wealthy who saw their taxes go up five years ago in what was then described as a millionaire's tax, but one that sucked in those making decidedly less than that. Now State Senator Nick Scatari is saying enough. Senator, good to have you. Good to be here. So what the governor wants to do is yet another surtax, a one-year surtax, we're told, on the wealthy in the state. And you're saying, what, you're chasing them out of the state, Governor? Well, the first thing that I worry about is whenever we say it's a one-year tax, the next year we're going to be looking at those same individuals again. And already five years ago, we raised taxes significantly on half-millionaires. We called them half-millionaires, meaning meaningly they're, they're high-wage earners. And with the federal government rolling back tax cuts on the, on the wealthy right now, New Jersey should be poised to try and attract these kind of people to locate New Jersey, stay in New Jersey, and also locate their businesses here since they pay the bulk of the Do you have any tax proof now. that they're leaving the state? Well, we don't necessarily have proof, but we certainly aren't going to make it any easier on them by, by raising their taxes again for the second time in five years. Do you think that he's emboldened in that as your governor by what's happening in New York where they're considering much the same thing despite some protests? Um, and in Connecticut, where they might do that. So in the so-called tri-state area of the Northeast, for those who aren't familiar, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, there's kind of no place for the rich to hide. Well, I don't disagree with that. that might be part of the reasoning, but that's one of the reasons we should specifically not be doing it, because those people that may be looking to relocate their businesses or relocate where they uh, say they live or where they actually live would be New Jersey, would be the better place for them to be right now if we don't go forward with this tax hike on those high wage earners. Are you sure you're a Democrat? Well, you know, we do. Uh, I, I've always believed that in an, a, a down economy, we shouldn't try to tax our way out of it. And uh, in addition to that, we don't even know how much this is actually going to project. They're projecting $380 million from this tax increase, but that is, we're in uncharted territory right now. And a lot of the high wage earners that we enjoy that live in New Jersey, we're Wall Streeters, and we don't know what they're going to be earning next year. So it's a declining base to, to tap. What is so difficult? I know New, I'm from New Jersey, and I, I see what's going on here, and I know they're. they're fixed costs and pension and related benefit costs for, for unions and well beyond. It mirrors what's going on everywhere, but because New Jersey is so concentrated, it's everywhere. Why can't we get a handle on that? Because it's really a microcosm of what's happening everywhere. Well, it, it is a microcosm. New Jersey has had difficulties. We did not put away as much money as we should have in years past when things were good. Uh, and we had many, many too many givebacks to uh, every different group that you can imagine, and uh, the the difficulties are now coming home to roost, and we have to deal with those. I'm not saying that there's a lot of difficulties. I think the governor has put out a budget that I think is responsible, does cut a lot of programs, does cut a lot of things that we absolutely have to, but this is an area I just have a disagreement with. We should not try and tax our way out of this problem. All right, but he's going to do this. It's thought that go through, and he has the support for that, minus folks like yourself. Is that safe to say? Well, we'll see. That's what the budget hearings are going to be all about. Right. And, uh, you know, the, what the governor says doesn't always necessarily go. Do you think one. he's doomed as a one-termer, though, that he is uh, it's not, not resonating? Well, I think at the end of the day, yeah. people are going to realize that Governor Corzine has made very difficult decisions in a de very difficult time. Well, they call you a rising star in the party because you can somehow get the two together. Well, we'll see if we can do that. Uh, I don't think that this is a Republican or a Democratic issue. This is an issue for the citizens of New Jersey, and what's best for the, uh, New Jersey is what I'm always interested in. Because right, you have to stop at 100 percent, Senator. That's where the, the rate sort of maxes out. Right? Yeah, there's only so much taxing right. that we can do. Indeed. Senator, very good seeing you. Thank, Thank you, you very much.